just uh, yeah it, it's all about feeling good and not uh yeah <laughs> so i wanted to ask has every one of you already played some notes or uh, if you if not played just yeah just go for it because for for me it's like uh what it's not a warm up what i do it's like i've got uh, i warm up before before i do exercises and it's just tooling around the doing what i for myself need to feel yeah to feel good and yeah so let's have just one minute you doodle around and do what you need and then we meet again so just play some nice soft notes and up. good so what I did here is like I, I wrote all my all the exercises down so I don't have to explain them <laughs> it's easier that even though they are really easy exercises I think it's it's the easier way so I gonna um, gonna share my screen with you and I hope this works I have to enable that first. Just give okay. me one moment. Okay. Oh, just give me one second here. No problem. We are not in a rush. All right. I think you should be able to do that now. Okay. I think. Does it work? Let's try. Yeah, perfect. Okay, super. So I can I can open this one. So you should see my screen. Yeah, this is not important. Very well. So you should see some music here. Good. So what I like to do is, uh, especially in the morning, to do a lot of drones, a lot of, uh, yeah, because I, it's, it's for me, it's the most important thing to like tune the ear like in, in the morning to really get my standard. And yeah, anyways, it's always a good thing to uh, to work on intonation and on, yeah, on not, yeah, in, it, after some time, it's uh, it gets just normal to play perfect in, intonation. So I actually, I've got this, uh, this app, it's called TE Tuner, uh, where is it? Um, I guess many of you know it. It's like uh, it's very easy to go, to work with, and the the good thing here is you can choose between uh, the normal piano tuning and the like the just tuning. And so, in when I warm up, I always put it on just uh, on the like the the real one. So yeah, we're gonna start in B major with number one. And I'm gonna play a drone here. I hope this works for you. Um... Like this. Good. So this is it. Um, I'm gonna just count a bar and then breathe a bar and then we play first exercise um, the idea is to do it without tongue and a really relaxed sound and um, yeah to 
try to hit the center of the instrument without doing too much. So let's just play together. This was the first one, and we're gonna continue in all position like this. And you may have recognized when I, when it goes to the really low uh, register, sometimes I use the tongue because I just feel uh, it, it's easier for me to play like this. Um, but if you're able to do it without tongue and it immediately speaks, then do it. It it would be even better. I'm working on it at the moment, so. Let's put the drone to A and just continue. So we continue with A flat major and yeah, let's keep it at, in a very, very soft and really just enjoy the beauty of the sound. Not really the sound of the drone, but the sound we are <laughs> producing. Thank you. 
when you go to the low register, feel free to play a little bit louder, just in the manner, like just this way, you'll, uh, you feel like it sounds the best. It's, it, yeah, for me, the, the first notes is just to find this nice, um, relaxed sound. So let's continue with Chi. to get the point so Usually when I do it for, for myself, I am not that structured. Sometimes I just play some other things in this, uh, in this major uh, scale. And it's just, uh, yeah, so we played the same thing that I wrote it down. It's, and actually it helps myself to give it a little bit more structure. Uh, like the last week I tried out to, yeah, to almost only do this, what I show you today. But yeah, I'm I'm a very flexible um, practitioner <laughs> when you want to call it like this. Yeah. So let's continue with F, I guess. Yeah. Um, that's better.
So like in this case, I would try to hit this last F several times until it, I feel very, very at ease with it. So let's do the last one. And for bass trombonists, just play what I wrote. For tenor trombonists, yeah, <laughs> improvise in the in the real uh, with the uh, the low B. Um, I actually do it like in this uh, slow car technique. I guess many other people do, do it also, like with bending down the E to the B. So. <laughs> So like this, I think I, I've got the, the nicest B, but still it's, it's quite shaky. <laughs> so then let's do this. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Lucas, is it possible to maybe scroll down? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, because we're only seeing the first exercise here. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. it's, I, mean, uh, could... I, I, I still do the, uh, um, the same, um, the, the same system just as, okay. uh, uh, so I do the last one on seventh position. Okay. I see. So we just have to transpose then basically. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Just okay. As, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I trust it in you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can all figure it yeah. out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um... That's it for this exercise. So I plan to like keep the whole uh, morning routine in this very calm manner we played uh, now. So the next one is a very, very nice line from Pasakalia from Bach. You, I'm sure you know it. I if not, check it out. It's an amazing piece. So I think for, yeah, for me, it's very important to, to start the day with music, well, actually to always do music. And it's always the, yeah, a danger to play, uh, yeah, to play the exercises and lose what we actually play the instrument for. So with this exercise, I would really like to always picture the orchestra playing to it, maybe imagine the hall with the people in it and perform it, but in the same calm, relaxed way we did the exercise before. So yeah, we go back, what is this, F minor, again with the drone and about the same tempo, and uh, yeah. Every time we, we we change the key, I'm gonna um, stop it and maybe talk and talk a little bit. So 
we start here. Um, yeah. nice thing with this one is we can experiment a lot now so this was a legato version let's do the next one with tongue but still very soft Do the next one a little bit louder, a little bit more pesante. guess the same uh, same din dynamic but we try to get a, an even longer phrase uh, one line so D minor same again with this really long line but this time in the pianissimo and yeah just this um. The, the last of the low ones afterwards we will go up with the same melody so this time let's try to do nice bells Bobby, Bobby. so this is C I really like 
like to like to keep it um like to just invent something some musical idea even if it's something really simple like just play a bell but it it keeps your mind awake and keeps you doing something musical and not just an exercise so now we go up we start again with f minor and the idea when we go up for me is like uh, is that i still see this melody as a bass line no matter how high we play we've this is this uh, we've got a special uh, color we play when we play a bass line and there's melody about uh, above and it's a good training to to see how how high we can get with this bass line color so again f so let's do it legato again one one again legato i think when i do it for myself i also experiment with uh, with tempi played very very slow or very fast so let's do a very moderate version just do it a little bit faster yeah like this um it's a very it's easier to get this long line so let's try this again do it with tongue but a long line um. <laughs> system but with even more tongue like it, it is quite detached but the lo the note is as long as possible so one for me it was quite difficult to still keep this bass line um, idea of the sound so let's go back to a maybe a slower tempo take 60 and yeah legato again uh, we are at A mm -hmm. One. 
So I see this almost like a yoga practice, just breathing, doing something that helps you to feel good. So just next one, B minor. Mm -hmm. one a little bit more dramatic. try to have the same dramatic feeling by playing soft. So in C minor, I guess. Yeah. come into a register where we have to remind ourselves all the time to keep this bass line as sound. So C sharp. Forte one. Just let's do one more and we leave it for this exercise. So that's a um, E flat. And this time just just do what you feel the best with this, like playing in this register. So
So that's this exercise. You can go up even further or even when you play bass trombone, go lower. And yeah, just you can play this melody in every key and everything. So you can also, you can get the, the music I wrote here. So you don't have to transpose in your head. It's <laughs> so the next one, uh, we, we, uh, some people from here will, I guess, already know actually all the things you already heard somehow, I guess. It's all about how we play it, not what we play. So this is, uh, I think, ah, who was the presenter? Someone did this in this uh, Zoom meeting already. Yeah. Let's do this time without drone. Um, yeah. The speed. Yeah, like this. So now this exercise I use to get up to the F in the most easiest, yeah, in, in the easiest way possible. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's like I feel very well, very at ease to play high when I come from the B and go up. Um, this time. You don't need to have this uh, bass um, line melody I idea of the sound. I think um, somehow when you play high, it's it's okay to hear that you that you play high. It's like there's some perfect spot how it, the in instrument uh, vibrates the best, how it like it just sounds the best. Try to find this one and yeah. Let the instrument ring with the least um, effort. So we do this. Um, yeah, actually, just um, the three A go down to uh, until sixth position. And yeah, just those um, this one bar rests in between. I don't have to talk between. So, yeah, these are the, the half notes. One, two. Uh -huh. It's only uh, the fifth. Well, yeah, I, I skip the, the third in between. And um, yeah, you can play a little bit louder, just how you feel good with it. So one, two. Uh -huh. Uh... 
very nice. So the next one goes up to the D. So it's first we've got the only the fifth and only the high register we go up to the D. So one, two. Uh. a lot of air this one <laughs> so the last one you I think you know what will come so we we take the same one first just the fifth and then in the really high register we we use the D and then the F also so I'm gonna put it a little bit faster um, yeah, let's see. Something like this. Yeah, and try to hit every note. Also the notes in between those uh, uh, the notes, like the glissando, to really that it always vibrates. So one, two. <laughs> case I would just play the first half once a little bit slower to really have the control of it I just gonna do this in just on first position just that I once hit a nice F uh. again <laughs> cool yeah this is this exercise so the next thing I, re I really like to keep using um, melodies I like so the next one I actually um, got uh, from Ian he uses it this a lot I gonna look for the music here yeah, that's it. You know the song, The Windmills of Your, of your Mind, from Michel Legrand? Amazing song. Actually, 
this one here it really helps to once listen to one of those thousand thousand uh, interpretations of this song just to get inspired by how beautiful the hu human voice can sound and it's really simple but in a way you can do so much with this and i also like to do to use this exercise to use the tongue a little bit more i usually have a very lazy tongue and this is yeah with this all these aids it it forces you to to use, use it in a very efficient way even though it's quite slow i me for myself i i, I still feel the tongue afterwards so i'm going to try to fit it on the page ah uh, maybe like this yeah you see it very good it's it's uh, it's small yeah yeah i see um maybe maybe let's just do the first half and then i can make it bigger until here um yeah it it goes something like this and so forth so get your most beautiful sound like you know this phrase from jacobs and me for myself from rex martin he tells this in every class <laughs> that just always think of your most beautiful sound and here it's really it's crucial to let yeah to give this melody a life feel free with the two some rubato or anything yeah i guess we just played you don't have to be exactly with me do it musically and do what you want to do with it um let's do just the first half twice and then stop it again so one two three <laughs> I want to suggest to also play the second half because it's so beautiful. So we just start with, uh, with, with math, uh, measure 20. This is, um, let me make it a little bit smaller so you can see everything. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Take your tempo, experiment with dynamics and everything. Just enjoy the beautiful music. So, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Uh, 
So I want to close it with this. I think it's always nice to, to yeah, finish with beautiful music. So usually I do a break after this and then afterwards I, yeah, I maybe start with a real tongue exercise when I practice again, like something with triplets. Yeah, so I, I would, suggest to if you want to go into uh, yeah discussion mode and yeah you can ask whatever you want i i see no one complained until yet so there were no <laughs> there was no questions but maybe you've got some now so can someone um, unmute yeah it sounds great thank you for sharing ah. this you're welcome. It was it was my pleasure. Yeah. So I stop this one. Yeah, amazing, super. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, so, the first uh, one the first one we did that had some three four time. You know, they just kind of went up and down the arpeggiations. I have a similar thing I do with my students, and you know, it's in like chords and stuff. But I, I so important to have that like the the anacrusis beat, like the beat three leading to beat one and beat four leading to beat one, and have those connections. You know, often our exor exercises start on downbeats and, you know, that's really great. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like the first exercise I did with you was, uh, was quite uh, long. Like usually you take the first bit and repeat it very much, uh, um, like very often then take the second bit. And like, like this, I think in one, at one point it's also laziness because I use drones. And I don't want to uh, to change the dro and drone all the time, so I do what as m as much as possible with uh, one drone, and then move it down to like a B flat, and then move it down to a, a and, and something like this. And usually, I also I improvise a little bit over this drone just to to feel the tonality. And yeah, it's... you know, Lu Lucas, and and I, I you know. I'm not trying to plug anything, but the, the Dr. Drone app that I mentioned earlier, yeah. if you check that out, one of the things that you can do is you can say, okay, let's put a B flat on for like a hundred beats. Yeah. And yeah. move it to A for like a hundred beats and then move it to A flat for hundred beats. You can kind of program that all in there. Oh, that's cool. Just kind of mess around in the B flat. And then when it kicks over to A, you know to go to the next one. So it kind of keeps you on track in terms of your schedule, but it gives yeah. you the freedom to do stuff. It's, oh, it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, you should check it out. That's a good idea. I, I'm gonna write it down. So it's um, um, Dr. Drone, you said. Yeah, yeah. Very like good. Dr. B, but drones. Amazing. Yeah, gonna check this out. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Ah, now I see the chat. I completely ignored it. So, <laughs> so yeah, thank you to everyone. Yeah. Um, you've got other questions, other ideas, what to talk about. Um, me for myself, like on my horn, I still use the, the Sloka mouthpiece. It's strange. I don't see them very often anymore with uh, the young uh, students here. It's like it's got a little bit out of fashion, but I think, <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think it's, it's just, it, it helps me to get this center to like uh, 
it is still uh, I somehow always played on this and also on the alto trombone I used the, the slow come out piece and I, I just didn't feel the need to change yeah could, but could you maybe show me the mouthpiece because I don't think I've ever seen a slow car yeah. one I'm still looking for a good alto mouthpiece so the, the rim is really like it's torn apart but okay. it, it still works I have to order a new one so okay. it's Screwable. Okay. So when I play alto trombone, I actually use this rim. Okay. And just put a an alto um, yeah. Okay. Like, uh, how do you say this part? The the, the cup and the shank. The cup. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's okay. it's quite big for an alto trombone then, but wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but there there are many different sizes. I try to get quite big, yeah. but it yeah it still has this. Yeah, this direct sound on the slow and, come out. And who makes them? Is that is that Slowcar himself makes it, or is it a different uh, company? No, it's Clear. Um, okay. K L E uh, uh, I E R. Clear. Like, yeah. Clear. Okay. Yeah. Clear. A company in Germany. Okay. Guess, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. And you're in Bern now, studying with Ian. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Super. It, it's amazing class. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, the last year, I actually wasn't here in Bern. I was uh, uh, I was completely in Denmark playing yeah, yeah. in those orchestras. Um, yeah. But uh, so next year I will continue my studies okay. with Ian. And, and you were in DR with Brian. And uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Brian's a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he, yeah. it's amazing. He's a they're, sweet guy. They're all so nice guys there. Yeah, Super. it was really it was such a pity that the uh, Corona was. So I had uh, half a year yeah. contract there, but yeah. actually it was just two months oh. playing with them, and then I yeah, had to yeah. go again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was was yours playing trumpet with them, or is he in Copenhagen? Do you know a trumpet player? Yours, De Rebel? Was he there also? Uh, no, no, he's no. in Copenhagen, Phil. I think. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of there are many orchestras there. <laughs> yeah, I think we have a lot of friends in common. I worked in Denmark for a little while. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. So. yeah. I, I really like the way they live. Like, yeah, yeah. as sometimes as a Swiss, it's difficult to move to other countries because mm -hmm. yeah, I, I I'm used to be so secure and everything mm -hmm. works and yeah, everything is clean. Mm -hmm. So. But in Denmark, especially in, in Copenhagen, I, I felt so much just at home. It just it was, it was amazing. Great. Yeah. Uh, Lucas, one of, the, one of the questions that has come up a couple of times, yeah. is, uh, if you would be willing to share the PDF of your warm-ups with the, the trombone hang members. Of um, course. Tyler, up to you. You could either probably drop the file in the chat for the people here, or if yeah. you want, I could send it to the email list. Uh, it's entirely up to you how you would want to handle such a thing. Um, well, um, I can try. Yeah, there's. I can try if I can drop it here. It's not my computer. I'm in school, so I don't really know oh, sure. how it works. Well, well you know what, what, find it. what you can also do is, uh, you know, we're, uh, Dave Tay and I are, are kind of in talks about figuring out ways to make resources from these sessions available to people. So if you just make sure that I get it, um, yeah. we'll, we'll be able to do something, you know, if people are interested. Yeah. Okay, it just popped up, so I think you can... Perfect, perfect. So I do the same with uh, the Windmills of Your Mind. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, great, yeah. Well, this one, I, yeah, I, I, I've never bought the music. I just uh, wrote it down. And actually, I, I, I played in every key I want. It's also what, uh, what Ian did like sometimes he told me he just yeah when he wanted to when he feel, felt the need to just make music to feel very uh, yeah like some, somehow in love with the instrument he plays this and in every key he wants yeah nice i, I have a, i have a question for you when we were doing the pasicalia uh yeah. you know melody or a bass line um, I really like how you talked about even when you go to the upper register, you try to think about it like it's still a baseline. Um, but one of the one of the things that I find uh, is kind of a slow part of my progress is that if I if I like, you know, like if here's the instrument and I'm kind of pressing into the instrument, 
I have much more limited like endurance in the upper register. Whereas if I really like hang back and just kind of let the lips vibrate, I can play a lot of those upper register notes, but they don't have the same, uh, you know, support and projection. Yeah. Um, is that something that you have thought about or had to deal with in that concept of keeping the baseline going, you know, as you get higher or, um, um, actually, not yet, but it's, it's a very good idea to, to picture this. For me, it, it was actually, it was harder to play it as a baseline than as it would be like in a, in a, in a normal melody, like, uh, yeah, Tomasi or something. I hit those right. high notes of Tomasi easier than when I play this Basakalia. But maybe when we, when I um, relax and just let it vibrate, it I'm maybe still uh, able to, to to keep this baseline um, sounds. Mm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. yeah, but thank you. And I think what also helps is maybe try to hear in uh, in the hat the octaves below and be like uh, you just play um, an overtone of what is actually going down, going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel like that Passacaglia line, um, that would be great for like a, like if a trombone choir was playing it in a couple of octaves. Yes, it's, yes. It's going for a real breadth of sound, like that would really be helpful. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, it's always, it's amazing to play with um, more people like now it was really difficult so I uh, I now have a, um, a looper to <laughs> at least play with myself <laughs> but to have something that is not a drone to play to like just doing some some um, um, how do you say um, um, like with uh, I, I missed the word but yeah just playing together and uh, yeah, see the uh, playing chords and try to create also different um, different um, sounds in like timbres, but uh, like all the voices together. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like it's nice to experiment experiment with. Yeah. Yeah. So great. Any other awesome. Ideas? <laughs> cool. Thank you for sharing all this. This is a great, uh, it's a very nice way to warm up. Very, uh, just very relaxed. It's Thank really you. Nice. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very like, yeah. now in these times I had so much time. <laughs> I yeah. didn't have anything to do. So like uh, now I got some concerts, but when it started with Corona, I, my schedule was just blank until next year. Mm -hmm. So I, w I thought like, okay, <laughs> I, I, I've got all the time in the world, so you can also take this time in the morning. It's like, yeah, it's almost like meditating. Mm -hmm. Now, like today, it was not too much meditating because I was nervous and talking <laughs> to you. But when I do it for myself, it's yeah, uh, it's it, it's amazing to wake up and do this in the morning. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Thank you. It's awesome. You're welcome. So cool. Yeah. All right. So, if there are any other questions, if if not, we'll wrap up. Yes. So, yes. Cool. Yeah, thank you very much for. Yeah, the... Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Was, Great stuff. And really nice that you have this platform. Yeah. Cool. Good. Thank you. Then uh, yeah. goodbye, everyone. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you, and I'll see you for the next one. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. We'll be there. Yeah. Tune in. Tune in next time. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you again. Hey, have a have a good time. So you're you're from Switzerland, right? I'm from Switzerland. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Super. All right. We'll have. Yeah. Be safe there, and. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Give my best to Ian whenever you see him again. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's walking around here very often. So. Good. Yeah. See you next week for sure. Yeah. He was a big influence for me. So. Yeah. Super. Yeah. So many people. Yeah. 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 Amazing. So. Great. So. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Good. All right. <laughs> then. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Oh. Oh, cool. It's just us. All right. Now. All right. I, I, know, gotta, I know. Yeah. You got to go teach in a couple yeah, minutes. Gotta, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. nice. Yeah. No, really. Nice. Yeah. Um. So technically, we have no one for Wednesday. We have Ed Edwards for the following Saturday. Um, if we find someone or, you know, if we're starting to record, 
do we want to maybe ask one of the early people like Bastion or something like that 